What do you think of when you think of a leader? Is it their elaborate regalia or a powerful pose? Here at the museum, we have many portraits of leaders, whether they're military or political or religious. These portraits show their status and authority. As soon as you enter the Mesoamerican Gallery, you're greeted by a large freestanding stone monument. This stella features hieroglyphics in two corners, and at the center, a large 7th century ruler and attendant. Many visitors are surprised to learn that this is a portrait of a woman named Lady Cabell. She was queen of a Maya town called Waka, and due to her family connections, may have been more powerful than her husband, the king. This stella celebrates the end of a 20-year period important in the Maya calendar. What clues showcase the stella's power? Is it the shield she holds or the scepter? Items often associated with mighty rulers. But for me, it's her costume. She wears an intricate headdress with many feathers, believed to be the tropical Quetzal bird with bright blue and green feathers. She's also adorned with jewelry, ear ornaments, necklaces and bracelets, and a network of beads over her dress. The beads and jewelry were likely made of jade, a precious green stone which could represent new growth. Put yourself in Lady Cabell's shoes. Imagine how it would feel to wear the headdress and layers of heavy jade. How might you move? Fast or slow? Think about the sound the jade would make as it sways with every step. I'm reminded by another leader in the museum's collection, the United States first president, George Washington. How do these two portraits compare in showing off their subject's authority? Which portrait do you think is more successful in this way? I notice that both leaders have attendants, are dressed extravagantly, and whether it's a cannon or a shield, show their power. But for me, it's the size of the portraits themselves indicate their success. Washington's portrait is very approachable. He even looks like he is about to smile as you walk into the Colonial American Gallery. Lady Cabell's portrait is nearly four times as tall as Washington's and clearly made to inspire awe. Thank you for joining me today. I invite you to visit this object in person or learn more about this object and others in collection online at cma.org.